This problem asks you to define a function called find last that takes in two parameters, one string that we're searching in, another string that we're finding. The whole point of this function is to find the position of the last occurrence of t. So let's use a variable called last pose. The overall plan here is while we keep finding occurrences of t, we're going to keep running the find function and updating our offset. So let's do that. While true, since we don't know when we want to terminate yet, we're going to update a position using the find function, where we're searching for t, but we're starting at the last position plus one. The plus one is important so that we don't keep finding the same string over and over again. If this function returns negative one, that means we didn't find another occurrence of t. So we want to return the previous we found occurrence which we stored in last position. Otherwise, we want to update last position with the position that we just found. So the one thing left is what do we initialize last position to? If we never find any occurrence of t in s, the goal is to return negative one. So if position equals negative one in the first iteration, we're just going to return last position. So it makes sense to initialize it to negative one.